Welcome everybody to another trading video. I'm your market analyst Adam Carberg, and today we're going to be doing a bit of a preview um, of the US CPI figures and also um, some of the interest rate or cash rate changes that the central banks will be having later in the week and how that may affect both the US dollar and also the US equities market. So as we know, this week is an extremely busy and important week with regards to economic data that relate to that relates to inflation and also with the Federal Reserve coming out with regards to interest rate changes. So the first and most important figure is the core, uh, the CPI figures and the core CPI figures. And these are expected to come in at 0.3%, which is 0.1% lower than the prior month. 7.3%, uh, which is 0.4 of a percent lower than the prior, um, the prior year. So that's the year on year figure. And also the core CPI figure is expected to come in at 0.3%, which is the same as the last month. Now, this is really important because if these figures are higher than what's expected, then it'll give the, uh, the Fed more incentive later on, probably not in the next meeting, but later on to continue to hike interest rates. However, if they come in softer, which is a very, which is a possibility, it may give a lot of strength to the equities market and also weaken the US dollar as the Fed may decide to either pivot or just pull off the gas on the interest rate rises. So now we're going to have a look at where we sit with regards to these assets. So we'll first have a look at the S&P 500, of course, which is the 500 largest stocks in the US. And we'll just reset this and see what's going to happen. So basically, we're just sitting around this 200 uh, day moving average. And in, our sh in the short term targets, you know, if we are, if the market becomes bullish on the back of these CPI figures, we may see a pump up to 4,100 points. And we may see this pretty early um, in the tonight's trading session as the figure is expected to come out prior to, um, the, the figure is expected to come out an hour before trading begins. So just watch out for a gap up potentially if we get good figures or a gap down um, if we get poor, bad figures. And then our lower, our lower figure um, or our short target may be 3,920 9, 9, points, um, you know, just at the support level, even a little bit lower, perhaps 3,900 just on there. So that's kind of our short term S&P 500 targets. And of course, um, we are just kind of ranging between the 200 and the 50 day moving averages. But just keep an eye out here for obviously the news tonight. And then as we have a look at the dollar index so this is you know the us dollar um versus you know most of the other world currencies and specifically a lot of it is weighted towards the euro what we can see is really since may of 2021 um we were in this almost like parabolic move up where we just kept going and going and going and going um as you can see it's a really powerful move before we topped out at 114 um and we'll just get rid of those lines because they're not necessary and before we saw an, a rather big sell off. As you can see, we've broken through both the 50 day moving average and the 200 day moving average. We found some support um, just at 104. Whoops, guys, sorry, just bear with me. It's 104, bounced off there, but we also weren't able to break back through that 200 day moving average, which is a little bit of a concern. And as you can see, this 104 level is right on this last um, point of resistance, which we broke through, which has now become support. So this is a really key level over here. And again, if we see a softer figure, we may see this go down towards 100, which wouldn't be unreasonable. And on the contrary, if we see a hotter figure, then we may see it push back up, perhaps to this 200-day average at 105 or even higher, maybe at this next kind of point over here at 107. So there are our kind of short term targets on the dollar index. And again, this you could probably use this type of trade on any corresponding US dollar pair. Um, you know, whether it be the euro, whether it be the franc, whether it be the yen, something along those lines, it'll probably work pretty similar. But, <clears throat> you know, you may just be better off trading the index. But there you go, guys, definitely the CPI figures are one to watch um, later this evening. Um, and also with the Fed to announce its um, interest rate changes later in the week. Also some really important news in that space. But as we've seen now, there are potential trading opportunities on both 
S&P 500 and the equities market and also the US dollar. So just be weary um, of trading the news. But thanks for watching and good luck trading.